Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 101 was nothing but a disappointment if you ask me. Here we are very hyped up waiting for a good battle, MUI Goku vs Gohan. Don't get me wrong, we got that. But only two or hardly even four pages of that and then it ends with the cliffhanger saying, wait for the next month just to find out what happens. Like come on, why waste such a bullshit fight with Gohan and Trunks and Goten and then it goes to this Goku and Gohan. Like no one was wants to see that crap. Everybody wants to see the main show, which is MUI Goku and Beast form Gohan. So honestly, when it comes down to this, I gotta say I was kind of disappointed with this chapter and I'm gonna get more into detail of what maybe got me a disappointment when it comes to this chapter and what are some stuff I liked when it comes to this chapter. One thing I like right here was the fact that Goten Trunks, yeah, they're still useless. I, you cannot convince me otherwise. You could say a hundred times, no, they're good. Oh no, I think they have potential, but at the end of the day, they're garbage. If you ask me, they're not that good. But one thing we did like was that Goten and Trunks proved that they weren't just, you know, a bunch of losers who's sitting around. They were actually doing a bit of training, which kind of got Gohan surprised. Now, before we get into that, one thing I want to say is, what is wrong with Goku? Why are you so senseless, my guy? <laughs> oh my god. Before we start, please click the bell so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't already joined my Discord server, yet, click the link in the description below. And even check out my backstory, Hero of Z, by clicking the link in the comment section. Now back to what I was saying. When it comes to Goku, he decides to take everybody to Beerus World. So this thing right here I thought was pretty awesome was the fact that Trunks and even Gohan along with Goten for the very first time saw how Beerus World looks like. Because Goku is to transmission everyone there. But what made him so senseless was that he also intertransmission the Red Ribbon Army to remaining men who want to try to get the revenge on Gohan. He took them with him and they had a camera so they're pretty much recording everything that was happening in Beerus world. But one thing I found surprising here was when Goku came he's like yo Gohan what the heck bro what was that power right sense? I can see you have a very strong power let's go use it I want to fight you. I honestly thought that Gohan would be a geek here. He'd be like, nah, father, it's okay. I got some geek invention to do or something like that. But no. Nah. Gohan's like, alright, dad, I'm game. Let's do it. And that Goku told him to go get dressed. We're going to go to Beerus World. I honestly thought that Gohan would reject that idea, but he did not. He said, bet, count me in. Let's go. So I'm actually kind of hoping that Gohan would eventually decide to train with Goku and Vegeta and Beerus. Therefore, he could get God Key. You know how OP Gohan will be? They're like, they're stopping his potential from training with Whis to surpass Goku easily. If he wants to surpass him easily, all he has to do is train with Whis. Broly's already doing it, but Broly, yeah. That's another character we'll talk about as we go to the review. So one thing right here is... Goku senseless, he decides to take everybody to Beerus world, <laughs> and I like Beerus, he's very grumpy, he's like, yo, why the hell is everybody in my world, man, what the fuck is going on here, and Whis like, relax, we're gonna see a sick showdown, so now when it comes to Broly now, one thing I was kind of weirded out was the fact that just how weird Broly is, like, Broly was shocked to see that Goku and Vegeta could get kids, he's like, Saiyans could have big kids, like, no shit, they could have kids, how do you think you were born? <laughs> he thinks that only Saiyans could have kids with Saiyans? Nah, he learned that he could do with human stuff, so Broly was very intrigued on seeing Gohan, Goten, and even Trunks. And he couldn't believe that they're related to Goku and Vegeta. And then from there, he just continued to be like those clueless guys, like, oh, what's that? Oh, wow, I didn't know. Like, come on. Broly's supposed to be one very OP character, but not this dumb. But now, one thing I did not like was right here, the fight with Gohan versus Trunks and Goten. Like, stupid Vegeta was like, how about you two fight each other first, then Kakarot will fight next. Goku agreed because he wanted to see Beast form in action, but <laughs> Gohan did not even use his Beast form on them. The most he went was his mystic form, which Goten and Goten gave it a name, they want to call it Ultimate Form. When they call it that, Gohan was like, yeah, nah, I don't like that name, Ultimate Form. I mean, come on, you're the same guy who came up with the name Beast Form. And that's what thing we're going to discuss about right there. But one thing I did like was the fact that Gohan was actually going for a Super Saiyan to test his power on them. And then from there, Trunks and Goten transformed to a Super Saiyan. And they were trying to hold their own. So they kind of impressed us and even Gohan. Gohan's like, damn, you guys are pretty good. <laughs> I have to might use my mystic form. But then one thing that was very annoying was that they decided to use a fusion. And then they effed up the fusion where they become a fat ass. Like, come on. I know what they're trying to do, they're trying to extend the damn story just so then they could give us a cliffhanger at the end. Like like I said before, we're all waiting for MUI Goku vs Gohan off the bat, but we didn't get that. We got some bullshit fight with Goten and Trunks vs Gohan, alright, 
I'll give them that was a pretty good fight, but what I did not like was that the fusion that, that happened, Gotenks he became a failed fusion, became all fat, and therefore he wasn't able to beat Gohan. But Gohan decided to show up by transforming into his mystic form, and he managed to easily one-shot them, but they were like, hey, don't forget, we're still young and all that crap. So I was like, yo, why? Why would they bring them into the story here? Bringing Gotenks and making him fat? If you're gonna make a fight, at least make a Gotenks going Super Saiyan 3 as a pre-adult? Damn, that looked pretty sick. If you ask me, then I think that would actually get Gohan to be serious and even not toy with him. That would be a nice fight to see. But honestly, I was hoping for a warm-up. It could have been nice to see Vegeta versus Gohan. Where Vegeta and Gohan go at it, and then Vegeta uses Ultra Ego, Gohan uses Beast Form, and those two go at it, and the winner faces Goku. That would have been very nice too, but no, they decided to make it Goten and Trunks. Now when it comes to Goku's fight, after that crap was done, finally we get to the main, the main part that we're all excited saying, yay, it's here. We get to see a battle with Goku versus Gohan. Now one thing I gotta give credit to is Piccolo, because when Goku asks Gohan, are you able to use his form? Anytime at will, Gohan's like, yeah, thanks to Piccolo, he taught me a good trick. How to always transform to my beast form anytime at will. You gotta give Piccolo credit, man. I think he's very uncredible when it comes to the story. Like, he's the one who was Gohan's first teacher. He is still his teacher, and now he's helping Gohan master his beast form. To the point that Gohan's able to now use his beast form anytime at will. That's actually really awesome. So give credit to Gohan right there. I really like that fact that he could transform to his beast form on and off whenever he feels like it. But then when he did... Goku was like, alright, let's go straight to our full power, let's skip the warm-up, so Goku too, he went straight to MUI, but what got me surprised was Beers looked at an MUI and he wasn't really that surprised, he was like, oh, so Goku's form, the most he could get to is this Ultra Instinct for now? Whis is like, yep, so that got me confused, I'm like, wait, for now, what are you trying to say? <laughs> are you trying to imply that there's something called Beyond Master Ultra Instinct? Hello, Akira Toriyama, are you trying to use Goku T23's idea? Because I was the first person on YouTube to make up that Beyond Master Ultra Instinct idea, and if they're going to use that side Dragon Ball Super, I better get some credit, bro, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but no, that got me wondering, what could be a form Beyond Ultra Instinct? Could it be something completely different? Could it be back to the Super Saiyan heritage? Or will it be a completely different form? Who knows? But that was kind of weird, Beerus being like, oh, so that's the most he could go to? So yeah, that got me to be like, yo, what's going on here? But one thing I did like was Gohan and Goku going at it. When they first transferred to a Super Saiyan or to MUI and then Gohan uses Beast form, he calls it Beast, which is really weird. Like, you could have come with a better name. I think Perfect Mystic would have been a good name for that form. Perfect Mystic or Beyond Mystic, but calling it Beast form, it sounds kind of weird. But anyway, gotta give them credit. The fight with the Goku and Gohan was awesome to the point for the very first time we saw Beerus World actually be destroyed kind of like a little damage because Goku's Gohan key was that good and that Beerus was spazzing out saying hey you idiots don't ruin my planet now honestly it was a lot of speculation right here everyone thought that Goku would be the upper hand to easily go and defeat Gohan and majority thought that Beast form would easily go and defeat MUI but not so far from what we've seen this entire fight it was completely tied Goku hits Gohan Gohan hits him back both of them hit each other Everything was tied from the start to end and they end the fight where they're still continuing They're ready for round two. They're not done yet and Gohan's more excited to fight Goku even Motivated himself that he's gonna one day fight his father So he's trying to make him be impressed with his power and Goku is already impressed He's like bro, you need to impress me man. Your power is amazing But what I did like was Vegeta's reaction along with Broly's When Gohan transferred to his beast form, Vegeta had concern in his face and this wasn't any known ordinary concern, you know, like, what the hell, what amazing power, nah. This concern was like, oh shit, his power actually surpasses mine's or what? That type of concern. Already Vegeta's facing with the fact that Goku is strong in him, so he's trying to surpass that. And now he has Gohan being strong in him. Yeah, it'll definitely be a big hit on his ego. It's the reason why Vegeta was really surprised to see Gohan using his beast form. And Brawly, he was like, what the hell, what's going on? But that's the kind of power is that. I mean, Brawly, you couldn't lose your shit and go to your legendary Super Saiyan and bam, it'll be a good fight for you too. But honestly, like I said, I was hoping for a warm-up battle with Vegeta versus Gohan, but instead they gave us this bullshit with Trunks and Goten and then a fat Gotenks. Yeah, because of that bullshit, I rate this chapter a 5 out of 10. And then they ended with the cliffhanger with MUI Goku and Gohan staring at one another and they're ready to go at it for the next chapter, which we have to wait for a month. So yeah, I'm disappointed. I was hoping for this entire 40 page of chapter will be based on Goku vs Gohan, but we only got 4 pages of those two fighting. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think 
Are you also disappointed with this battle of how it went? Were you expecting something better? Or are you with me? Do you think that was really retarded adding Goten and Trunks coming to Beerus World to fight with Goku and Gohan and all that? I'm hoping at the end of this chapter when they're done fighting all, they decide to train with Whis. That will be make them really OP and more relevant in the story. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If there's anything you guys like about this video, what I talk about, please give me a like. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you guys waiting for? Please subscribe now and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when any new episode and stuff comes out. And if you're interested in seeing my backstory, Hero Z, click the link in the description below. You'll get to see Hero Z.